back in my bag flow uh. Back again, yeah we keep on stacking it, what's happening? Everything in Gucci got me feeling like I'm dapper then Life has been a movie, yeah, so shout out to the cameraman Pull up to the scene, it's going down like a avalanche Steady going up like a travel plan Homer Simpson face, lucky power plan Yeah, I'm on it Feeling like I'm feeling like a man Lately, can't nobody do it like I can Daily, baddest in the lattice in the land Body turning nigga to a fan I'm in my new place I'm in my new place like I want to scream 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 period y'all look at me in my new place it's just so beautiful like I just want to say thank you God no, on a serious, serious note, I do want to say thank you, God, because he has blessed me so much and he has elevated me. And I'm just so thankful and grateful. And it's it's just a beautiful, beautiful home <laughs> for me and my pooch. And I'm just so excited to make memories here. Work, do what needs to be done. Okay. Hello. It's a day. I mean, yeah, it is a day. It's a day after all my traveling. I'm back in Georgia. <laughs> no, but I am back in Georgia. And I'm about to go get my hair braided. I just want to really show y'all my hair. I should have showed y'all it last night after I blew it out for real, for real. But this is what it's giving. It's growing. I know I need to do a hair update even though I'm not really doing my natural hair content no more. But I am going to give y'all a hair update. I'm just tired right now. I really can't do it right now. Stop caviar right now. I want to do it on my um professional camera. Stop that. Y'all ain't seen him. He is just doing a lot. Stop doing it by in your, your paws like that. You're not even going to have a paw. You're going to bite the paw completely off. Then what you're going to use. <clears throat> but yeah. I'm about to go get my hair braided. If y'all don't know. Well, I talked about it a while ago my Instagram and that's why y'all need to be following me on Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram y'all really miss it on the T but I'm planning on locking my hair now don't ask me when cause I don't know but sometime this year gonna lock her up probably soon though to be honest probably after my birth of the day my birth of the day do y'all know what a birth of the day is it's I'm going to be the birth of the day. Maybe because I'm born again, again, again. I'm just playing. <laughs> Y'all probably like, this girl is insane. But no, I'm just playing. Um, my birthday. I know I'm a Virgo, team Virgo, every day, all day, 24-7, 365 days of the year. If you're not a Virgo, what's happening? Why was you born? Why was you born another time? <laughs> As if you can help when you were born. Uh, Virgos are the best to ever do it. The best that will ever do it. Virgos are some of the most talented people. People that walk this earth. If y'all did not know. And if you did know. I'm going to need y'all to look that up. Not to say that nobody else is talented. But I'm telling y'all. some of the mo When I say the most talented people. Are Virgos. Y'all going to be like dang. She ain't lie. Y'all. I don't even know if y'all can see me. I done left the dang on braiding shop. This is why. I've always been skeptical to tell y'all where I go get these done because <laughs> you just, it's its a lot. Okay, so to be honest, you don't know if you're going to get your hair done. So I get there before my appointment time. Mind y'all, it's 9, I mean, it's 1042 now. She calling people. So she's doing somebody here. It's another girl waiting and it's me. She calling, she calling, she calling people. Nobody answering the phone. And I'm just like, okay, so that let me know you don't have nobody to do my hair. And then you just gonna really just let me sit here like that. You gonna really, I would set y'all up, but it's gonna fall. I mean, I don't wanna break my camera because I just got this camera. But, um, so you really just gonna let me sit here. So I'm like, okay, the other girl show up to do the other girl here. So I'm like, is anybody gonna come and do my hair? Like, because I'm not about to keep sitting there. Like, I'm getting annoyed at that point because I could have just stayed home. You could have called me when my appointment was gonna be ready so i'm like is anyone gonna come she like come up to me all close 
I'm gonna do your hair. Okay, so why didn't you just tell me that? Like, you got me sitting here. She's like, after I get done with her hair, I'm gonna do your hair. And it's like, yeah, granted, she's not getting a style that's gonna take all day, but it is gonna take a couple more hours. And it's like, I'm not about to sit there, and then I already gotta sit to get my hair done, and I'm paying you. So it's like, y'all can't even get off the dang on exit to go home because they're doing construction on it. Now I really wanna freaking scream. Now I really wanna scream. But anyway, like I was saying, um, that's why I was wondering why it was so much traffic on 285. But anyways, so I'm like, I'm going to just leave. Like, I'm not about to sit there like, yeah, I want my hair done. But you can just call me. Like, I could be at home with my dog. I could be walking my dog. I could be at home doing a million things. Y'all know I'm moving. I got a lot of stuff to do. So it's like, I'm not about to sit there and I'm not even getting my hair done. Like, I could be at home sleep, actually. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to get me something to eat and go home and take a nap. Because, like, what the heck? Like, you should have just said that. When you realize when nobody answering the phone, you, and then she, her excuse was because they had a wedding yesterday and everybody tired. Okay, that's understandable, but my thing is communicate that to the customer. Don't just have me sitting. I know I keep hanging up and coming back, but I thought my camera was going to die. But now I'm in the Popeye's line because I'm hungry. And there's no, I really don't even want this, though. And it's sad in predominantly black neighborhoods. They only have junk food and they don't have no healthy food. That's why I'm like really excited to. Ugh, I'm just ready to go because these. It's so crazy. If y'all look at like demographics, they market junk food to African American black people or whatever. And in predominantly black parts in Georgia, that's all you're going to find is junk food. You're not going to find no health food places, nothing like that. No like kill me crazies or nothing like that, girl. They do not put them. Um they don't um put those type of restaurants in this neighborhood yes i do eat junk food sometimes but it just be like sometimes i want a better option and i don't always want to eat junky food but anyways i feel like this vlog done turned into a rant see this is this is exactly why i do want to like stuff be coming to me after the fact that's why i'm coming back on here but here's the thing y'all know this is a hair this has been a hair channel for years I do not like doing my hair like contrary to popular belief I don't like doing my hair but the reason why I do do my hair now I really don't like doing my hair this day and age like at all but the reason why I do do my own hair is for reasons like this because it's like stylists play so much they play so much it's unorganized it's unprofessional and that's why a lot of the times you guys that is why i really learned how to do my own hair and that is why i do my own hair obviously i do my hair because i like looking nice i love looking good and stuff but also because i just can't like i have no patience like when i say none i'm not like i'm not the, the only okay the only patience that i have is with children i have no patience for adults and it's sad and the reason and i always say this and i know it's probably like daniel i don't because it's like with adults it's just simple like and i feel like adults make stuff so complicated it just and it's just so annoying like when you could have just opened your mouth and said hey you know can you come back in a couple hours da, 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 da. communication people communication but that's the real reason this is a prime example I'm, i had to come back and say this this is a prime example as to why i typically do my own hair i don't be wanting to do my own hair and right now i don't have the time to sit and twist my hair for hours and hours and hours it would just be quicker for me to get it done but like when i was younger i had a really reliable braider like she was so reliable she always came through i never whenever i made an appointment i went baby i was getting that hair done but it's like nowadays the service is so piss poor and that's why i do my own hair if y'all ever wanted to know why i heavily do my own hair it's not because i don't want to go to the salon because who doesn't want to go to the salon and get a full salon treatment and get pampered i do but it's just the inconsistency and the unprofessionalism is why i typically do not go get my hair done this is going in and out i don't know why the color but that is why i don't get my hair done you guys that is really the real reason if y'all ever wonder like mono always that is why because I don't have the patience. But anyways, I'm not going to come back on this camera. Hopefully, I don't know why I keep going in and out dark. I think it's where I'm sitting. Hopefully, when I come back, my hair is done. And if it's not, I'm going to let y'all know. Because she got my hair. So if she don't do my hair, I will be going to get my hair back. 
Now I am kind of annoyed. Because, like, this was a waste of time. I could have slept in. Like, and I'm sleepy, too. Like, she's almost some day at a wedding yesterday. I traveled all day yesterday, but I was still on time. That would have been, like, me rolling in the shop. Like, oh, I traveled all day. So, that gives me an excuse to be, um, late. Like, no. Okay, you guys. So, hey, y'all. It's the next day after my hair situation. As y'all can see, I ended up getting my hair done. I'm about to do my makeup because I'm going to the candle class. But I end up getting my hair done despite all of the stuff. She ended up apologizing to me because that was crazy. But she did apologize to me and she was really nice. Like, I'm not going to take away the fact that she wasn't really nice. She was really nice. She apologized to me and I was able to get my hair done. But yeah, I didn't end up, I, my appointment was at 10, y'all. Remember I told y'all I left? Because I was sleepy from like, um, I was really freaking sleepy from all the traveling I did. I came home, I took a two hour nap. I went back at like two something and we got started at three. And then I didn't leave until eight. So yeah, but if I didn't need my hair done real bad, y'all, I would have just did it myself. But I don't really have... The time to just do it to myself. I don't know. That stuff she put on my hairline. I don't like. And yeah. So I'm going to redo my edges. But anyways. I am. Like I said. About to go to my cleaning class. And. Oh. I'm jumping from subject to subject. I, I forgot. Because. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I was just trying to get the heck up out of there. And I forgot to give y'all the name of the place. Now I'm going to be honest. I have been going there since I've lived here. Which I've lived in Georgia. It would be six years we're just gonna say six years because by the time i'm going from here it'll be six years so i've been here for six years and it's not the same like that shop is not the same so it's like i don't really even want to tell y'all to go there i really don't to be honest i mean not for these like i feel i mean they're cute don't get me wrong okay no i'll take that back i feel like i can go there but i think the thing that's every stylist is going to be different I'm just going to say that. And they do tend to have different stylists. So, like, the girls that were in there this time, I've never seen them before in my life. And even the older lady that's, like, running it, I don't remember her. Like, the lady that I remember was, like, really tall. And she always had, like, micro braids or, like, braids pulled to the back. Like, that's who I remember. Like, I don't remember the lady that was in there now. So, I don't. And to be honest, I didn't even ask. I probably should have, but I didn't even ask. But I will say this. They do do really nice box braids and knotless braids. They do these nice, but I can't guarantee that yours will turn out how mine turned out because it really depends on the braider, you know? So if y'all go there, go there on your own discretion not go there on your own discretion at your own discretion um because i don't really know <laughs> i don't know to be honest like it didn't give me the vibes that it used to give me it wasn't bad it just she was really really short staffed and that's what she apologized to me about too because yeah so i don't really know you guys maybe the lady that i used to see all the time was her sister i definitely should have asked but yeah, y'all can go. I mean, just like I said, go at your own, go at your own risk. <laughs> Don't go with, oh, Mona said, I gave y'all the rundown. Y'all appointment may not start on time. And sometimes it may start on time. Sometimes it may not. No shade, but one of the braiders was doing this lady hair. You know, she went in her car and was gone for 40 minutes, so... That's why I'm telling y'all that that's up to y'all. But I won't be going there no more because obviously I won't be living here anymore. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much that. So, I'm about to do my makeup. And what is so lovely about my hair being done is like I got to sleep in longer. Now, if my hair wasn't done... Child, I would have had to get up at like 8 a.m. to get myself together, but I slept in, which was really needed. So now I'm just about to beat this face. 
My hair is really stiff because y'all know like the first couple of days your hair be stiff. So I'm really excited for it to loosen up because when it starts loosening up, I really can like style it and like do different cute things to it. I'm definitely going to put some beads on it, but I didn't want to put no beads on it today because, you know, um, they braid really tight, which I like because this one girl that was on my hair, she gripped the back of my hair that I showed y'all that's going back in. She gripped it so good. Like, that's one thing I could say. I love African braiders because... They grip game is something crazy and they styles last so much longer to me. Now my styles last like when I do it myself. That's just that on that. But I'm gonna get out of here because I gotta get dressed and if I keep talking, I'm not gonna get dressed. So I'm gonna take y'all with me to the candle class, my last little um activity before I leave. So yeah.